Hello there, welcome. I'm back with another Turtle Burst Visera game again against Kayo, and I hope this one will be as exciting as yesterday's because wow, that was a that was a game. And already from the start, we have a really nice hand here. Turtle Burst Visera does want to go first and create as many rune shunts as possible. And having a Mordrotite and a blue is already always nice. We already get to do the Mordrotite into Grasp of the Arknet uh, thingy. Then also play an incantation and ping Kayo. Kayo once again doesn't have a B, so pinging with the Mordratite here is just a free two rune chance. Uh, it does seem like this Kayo is quite aggressive. He's instantly going for the Scapskins and fortunately for us, finally getting punished here. We already find an Arknet Ascendancy now and a Runic Reckoning to go with that. Now, in yesterday's game, we already, right, we already uh, talked about how Ascendancy does become a little bit um, off-putting if the enemy has too much armor. And especially if we send it in for only 8, he can just completely block it out. We're at 0 rune chance again. And yeah, we okay, we, we've got rid of his armor and his, our next Ascendancy will be really good. But if we can just establish more rune chance instead, that would be even better. Because, yeah, he doesn't have AB. If we get to that uh, HP mark in Rune Chance and can send just one attack, he's done for. So, yeah, right here, I th I'm going for the Rune Chant line first. If I had that Slogism instead, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going, going for the Slogism Ascendancy. Okay, Kaios setting up. We get to ping with the... Would have the yeah we have the option to ping you with the scepter or we pitch into the blessing. But I think since we can do the blessing with our tunic counter, we rather go for this right here. And now in our turn, we even found a sonata. Um, with the sonata, you ideally want to grab a a rune blood barrier that is coming in with four rune chance until the start of your next turn. Every bit of damage will instead kill a rune chant and not uh, an, a, an HP. So a very good line is playing that Sonata for the Rune Blood Barrier, keeping a D-React you put into your arsenal. And I think we're doing exactly this right here. Not even if he's coming for six or eight, we are not putting that um, D-React in now. We can put it in next turn and the value is not getting lost and we get to keep our Rune Chance. If we would be playing a more aggressive playstyle here, um, meaning just throw as many buffed ascendancies as we can, then we definitely want to just prevent as much damage as possible right now, and we don't care if next turn we would be losing a bit of our rune chance, because all we need if we're playing ascendancies uh, is six rune chance, and everything else is just a bonus, and it would be better off if that was just a bonus added to our life total than a bonus added in damage. Okay, so already as of now, 23 rune chance with only 15 to go. This D-React will give us another one, so that's only 14 to go. And then there is our Sonata Galaxia, another one in hand. So we could just go for another rune blood barrier. And as of now, he's pitching a yellow. Okay, so if he's pitching a blood rush, that usually means he has another blood rush. Um, yeah, getting that armor block in here might not be too too bad. And it does seem like he's just setting up for another turn, which would play us into our plan really, really well now. So it's likely that there's another blood rush in his hand, and with the agility in my token up, next turn will be quite huge. I think though with a D-React in our arsenal and all that armor up, we might just still be able to block it all out. So I am going for another rune blood barrier now, and also pinging him, because the Sonata Galaxia does get go again if uh, you're paying at least six into it. Okay. And now since we're not really going for that as Arknet Ascendancy plan, I'm just completely free to block with it. We only ran into one two block.
yeah, I mean, the exact way which, in which we block shouldn't really matter. I guess, in retrospect, getting that... Ah, that's hard to say. You maybe want to get that us at a direct out early because it could be a sand packing that comes next. And now, because you use Blood Rush, we get the Balance proc. And we get to block out. Basically, completely, if we choose to do so. Yes. Rune Blood Incantation right now would, would be a little clunky without the Tunic Counter up. Okay. So already only 8 to go. And, I mean, we had 29 Rune Shards at 31 life. That's just insane. That game went so well, I can't believe it. Okay, now going well for KO as well. Um, yeah, now we can just trade in life as well. I mean, those two blue cards we don't need. But if CNC hit, doesn't matter. We don't have an arsenal anyways. Nice, okay. Caspons doesn't even get an agility. But even if it does, we have that um, D-React that we can get uh, to put... Uh, wait, that we can put into our arsenal so we have it next turn. So even then it wouldn't have been bad. And now let's see. I think I think if we get to keep our wait, uh, if yeah, if we get to keep our hand here slightly, then he's just dead. We can play another Sonata into Rune Blood Barrier that will give us four rune chance. So we're at 36, and then we just have to throw any attack. And because he doesn't have AB, he just dies instantly. And Arknet Ascendancy, the card on the very left, costs one less for each <laughs> rune chance, so it's at zero. Um, and yeah, I don't see a way in which he forces our hand here. Because we have all the HP we could want. He doesn't have hand disruption. So yeah, that's just GG now. Um, wow, very differently to the game yesterday. Uh, definitely a bit of a high roll. Um, but yeah, we, there's so many uh, ways in which this deck can play. All very um, value efficient, I'd say. And yeah, it can adapt to all sorts of situations. And I mean, KO right now, um, top meta contender. Viserai, Turtle Burst definitely has a shot against it and also against other decks. And um, I'm looking to show you that tomorrow. So yeah, make sure to tune in then. You must watch the KO game from yesterday. That was just insane. Um, yeah, and I promise next next Viserai game will be just as insane. So while... Well, the Arknet Ascendancy is going to finish this game up. I'm just going to say, um, leave a subscribe if you want, and I'll see you later.